Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's disqualification from the Lok Sabha after his conviction in a criminal defamation case comes under a Supreme Court order that the Congress itself tried to overturn using an ordinance in 2013. The Supreme Court in April 2013 held the MPs and MLAs convicted with a minimum two-year sentence will be immediately disqualified from the House without getting three months to appeal as was the case until then. Five months later that year, the ruling Congress government in the centre hurriedly pushed an ordinance that sought to overturn the rule that disqualifies convicted MPs and MLAs. At the time, Rahul openly came out against his party's decision and called the move a complete nonsense. I personally think what the government is doing on the ordinance is wrong. It was a political decision. Every party does it and there is a time to stop this nonsense. If we actually want to stop corruption, then we cannot make these compromises, Rahul Gandhi, who was 43 years then, had said. He said the ordinance should be torn and thrown out and then in a stunning move at the press conference he tore a piece of paper. The Congress eventually scrapped the ordinance. The BJP came to power in the centre a year later and the then Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi became Prime Minister. Fast forward to today, the Lok Sabha disqualified Mr. Rahul Gandhi after his conviction in a criminal defamation case filed by a BJP leader for asking whether people with the surname Modi are thieves. BJP leaders have said the remark by Mr. Rahul was against all those sharing the Modi surname, which is associated with other backward classes or OBCs. They said Mr. Gandhi's conviction has got nothing to do with them and the case followed the due process of law. Several opposition leaders have condemned the BJP government over what they call the use of a bizarre case to target Rahul Gandhi a year before the general elections.